Все свиток правды. 108 градусов. I'm just screwing a piece of wood to the base to set the corner angle. That gives me a half degree error, which doesn't sound big at first, but turned out to be a big issue later on. And I've just used table saw scale to set the tilt of the blade, and it worked perfectly fine. Here is when half degree arrow stops feeling small. You have four corners that are half degree off and another one that is two, maybe three degrees off, which is huge. That's why it might be a better idea to use MDF and veneer. You can fill all the holes with putty and just put veneer over that. I'm using the woofer from Modern Shorts 908 speakers. The original speakers are 60 liter sealed box towers, so if I made it a cube, it would be too bulky and I wanted something nice looking. This is my first time working with aluminum, so I read a couple of articles how to do that. I bought a special blade, which looks just like my default blade on the table saw, and most likely it is the same. Also I brought a respirator, but I forgot to bring blade wax to reduce heating. And none of that was needed, because nothing really heated and there was no dust, only big chunks of aluminum flying into your face. So it's better to get a face shield and also disassemble the dust collections because those chips clog up everything. Порядочек.
Да, вот сейчас правильно делаем. I did all the sanding with an 80 degree sand paper on an angle grinder that produces huge amounts of dust and sprays it everywhere. But it's also the fastest way to sand anything. It's way faster than belt sander or random orbit sander. For fine sanding I've used 120 and 180 grids on a random orbit sander. I plan putting three stereo amps and a computer inside, so I'll need this aluminum plate for cooling. I'm doing active crossovers, so this means my satellites are gonna be by amped. Also, a second sub was planned, but I don't think I will need it. That's why I have so many binding posts. While my amps are on their way from China, I'll connect this up in a passive mode and do a smoke test to see if there are any unsealed openings. Those would make whistling sounds. I expected an F3 of 35Hz, but my room gives me huge spikes at 25 and 50Hz, so the F3 is even lower than I expected. <laughs> 